The explosive damage from the super tandem helps me take down any enemy. Okay, dog, why did they put this guy in here? Who put bro in here? Who did it? What's up, my Cabo Rambagers? It's me, Captain Rambo Cabbage. No, it's not. Okay, so here we're as an OPT. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna shut the hell up. What's going on, guys? Captain Bobby here. The good, great, and perfect podcast is back with the OPTC Awards. We're excited to once again be hosting for the biggest community organized event. The OPT Awards. Okay, so this is like the voting thing, right? So essentially, we'll be voting for, be advocating for certain units and uh, certain events. I don't know. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see when, when we go next. Ne ne okay, here we go. This award goes to the best free to play unit you can get, right? Get the stupid, stupid bug. Okay, no. <sighs> okay, so this one, this is the only thing I've seen. And like, bro. All of these units are mid. Except Sasaki. This guy is literally the best unit in this whole pool. This Yamato is okay. I mean, you get four nominations, right? But none of these are really on the level of this Sasaki. This Reiju is probably the second best. Uh, everybody else here is kind of dookie. I'm not gonna lie. This Black Maria is actually pretty underrated. He's okay. But, I don't know. I don't think either you want to use either of those units. These are the best units from Kiz Treasure Map, Kizuna, and Pirate King Adventures. So this is free to play units, obviously. You know, let's let's look down the list. Wiper, he's Dookie. Who's who? Dookie. Izo, he all right actually. He's pretty good. He's uh he's he's a sleeper unit for sure. Uh, Dofi, probably the best unit I could think I, I see so far. Uh, what's it called? Fujitara Treasure Map. I've never used this man. Even when you were supposed to, I never used him. He's kind of, he's, uh, you. Okay, so I get five nominations this time. Uh, Kizuna Garp, he's good for, for, for that Clash Jinbei, but then like, he kind of like falls off. Like, bro, bro has no more uses no more. So I'm not, I'm not going to pick him. Uh, Capone, that's my dog right there. That Capone, he my dog. That's the best unit so far, you know. <laughs> that boy Capone, he does everything. He's your dad, he's your mom. He can do it, he can do it all, man. Uh, Quick Roger, you, uh, Treasure Map Momo. Ugh. Units are foul. Exekine is actually pretty nice. Uh, uh, this Perona is actually okay. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't advocate for that Perona, no. Uh, the performer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this Luffy, he looked goofy as hell. But I wouldn't pick any other units, man. Like, all the other units that have come out are not, you know, this is not hitting. Alright, well, I already see, uh, Baby Graham's shop. I'm picking that one. Uh, no questions about it. That's the best treasure map rare recruit. I already know what this is. Uh, what's it called? What we got here? Yeah, that's, that's the best one. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not advocating for nobody else. And this goes to the best Kizuna rare recruit, a force to be reckoned with for any boss. Now I am terrible, like super boss Kizuna. Regular Kizuna though, I'm fine. This Moria, he's OP. I don't know why his kit is so good. That's the only guy I would advocate for. Why is everybody else here is Doki? Oh my god. STR King. This guy right here. People say, oh, Rambo Cabbage, he's the best rare group, you know, best, best Pirate Rumble rare, this guy sucks. This man will go in for you one round and he'll be like, <laughs> it's time to do the STR King maneuver. And then he gets absolutely mollywopped before he can actually launch his super. And then you just look in there at your phone and you're like, damn. That's the short sum of STR King. He is a good unit, but he's a bit dookie. People over overhype this man because oh he can do damage that ignores defense. Oh my god. We never had that before. He must not have STR use stats or something. Anyways, here's Blue Jam, right? This guy, he's OP. Reason being, this man is the reason why you have to be a little scared of quick teams when you're using the Dex team. If this man can half your defense, you can take a lot of damage fast and you can die. Blue Jam is the whole reason that team could do that. The poor Chemi, he's a good, he's a good duo unit with him. Uh, he, I'd say he's on the same level as the Sasaki. These who's who and the Inazumas. I'm judging off the rare recruits I see when I play the game, 
I don't see any of these other guys other than Blue Gem. And maybe this king, but I'm not advocating for him because he sucks. And I will stand on that hill and die on it. Sword goes to the best support in the game. Oh god, I did not use these units. Um, I'm pretty sure they're all dookie. None of these are really crazy. Because they all support specific characters. None of them really do all free spirit. Nope, none of that. I'm gonna go with Momo because Momo's a pink dragon and I don't know. He kind of pink. A unit is so good, it could be considered the crowning jewel of all rare recruits. Alright, let's look down the list. <laughs> Sanji's actually really nice. Zoro's okay. I'm gonna I'm look down the list real quick. We gotta, we gotta look at our options. Uh, uh, man, I mean, this year has not been kind to the rare recruits, I'll be honest. Yeah, I don't, I don't see myself voting for any of these characters. What the hell? Were the river crews that mid this year? Damn. Okay. Well, this Robin's good. So is this Brook. This is Sanji. Yeah, that Soros Soros on the same level, but like damn. That's that's tragic. That's tragic. Okay, the best of work goes to the best level limit break legend. Alright, so as far as I see it, none of these units. Nope. Nope. Wait. This guy was actually pretty good, and since he has the fun mechanic, you know, he might be the best one. I'll mark him for now. This boy, you could you could go to this form, right? You could go to Tank Man, I didn't know you could do that. But now you can do it, like, he's a little bit better for modern content. Uh, yeah. STR, Big Mom, nope, 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 nope. Uh, Carrot just got a buff. Jack, he also just got a buff, so... It's like tiny buffs. They just got fixed a little bit. Same thing with this chopper. Uh, it's probably these two actually. These two are like the best character that you would want. Ah, uh, this big mom was like the biggest L. Uh, Goto Soro is actually pretty good. I don't know, man. I wouldn't. I wouldn't pick any of these units though. Like, this is the only guys that I would actually say are the best level of them to break this year. This Doflamingo was already good, so the same thing with these two, and then the rest of these units are kind of eh. You're not using them over some. The explosive damage from the super tandem helps me take down any enemy. Okay, dog, why did they put this guy in here? Who put bro in here? Who did it? Not this guy. Okay, do not pick him. He's not. Look, he has super tandem as like a novelty. Oh, fraud beard. I gotta pick fraud. Okay, I'm not picking fraud beard. I don't know, people are gonna pick this character. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, she's the only character with a tandem on her team. Uh, these guys are pretty nice, actually. I don't have them, but I've used their super tandem before, and it's really, it's really nutty. Uh, same thing with Shanks, any Shanks. And then I guess I'll go with uh, Yamato, because before, right, before they had more super tandems in the game, that one was pretty busted. <laughs> this award goes to the best ship in the game. A oh, best ship to upgrade? We're able to unlock the ship's full potential. Alright, I gotta go with the dinghy. This thing's goaded. Merry go. Goaded. Uh, uh, you. Is it talking about the best, like, upgrades to, like, level 12? Because if that's the case, I'm gonna go with the sunny. Go. Oh, where's the whale sharks? Or did they just take out the whale sharks because they knew they'd be number one? Yeah, the whale sharks are kind of are kind of the best ship in the game. You kind of want them, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, they don't got the mid whale sharks. I'm just gonna go with what I picked because they don't have whale sharks. Best STR legend of the year. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, look at these options. You got page one, Boa Hancock, Izo, STR. Bro, you put this guy on the same list as all these characters? That's not, that's not fair. They think with this guy. Bro, what the heck? Okay, whatever, you know. Just put put two of the best units in the game. Right here. So like this Luffy, right? He's just a goat. This Kaido. You know, mans will kill you in real life. Like if you play him in the game, you might die. That's how that's that's how hard he is, man. They put STR Izo in here and this Conjuro is a joke, man. Like eh. I'm just gonna go with both of them because honestly, this it just depends on what team you're running. Like they blurred out Kaido. Best Dex Legend that made waves. 
like waves like you know take off the do-rag okay no uh big mom i mean i'd say yamato was from last year technically is big mom or sanji it's not in any of these other units all these other you know, units are kind of mid no, i'm just kidding these guys are great <laughs> the only mid legend here might be this Paro sparrow or this vivi becca hoshi and sherry you know one piece day unit and, you know they choose they choose these people instead of luffy in a do-rag <laughs> no all right let's go is that really best quick legend this reign supreme okay quick legend let's go let's go all right best quick legend is automatically going to be this demonio robin reason being he has the unique effect of being able to apply two conditional boosts people take that for granted there's only another there's only one other character that can do that as far as i know i think there is another character that they added recently and that's dex big mom and if you don't have one of these units and you're doing super boss you know you just, you just got a brian galindo you feel me that ring best side legend i already know was gonna pick this nami it's not nami guess who it is it's gear five don't pick anybody else i will come for you okay i'm just kidding and the other one would probably be the shanks because this shanks actually has a lot of utility best in legend kaido so, kaido or albert it's one it's between kaido and albert i'm gonna be honest albert is so good by himself kaido you have to build the whole team around him but if you do he will nuke people so, i'm gonna go with kaido actually Albert works really good on his team. That's why I'm saying that. Celebrating the synergy of these dual units. Okay, so these guys, I don't have them, all, but they're annoying to use. And for that reason, that's not a synergy to me. That's a that's an anti synergy. Uh, Odin Toki is a fun unit right here. Fun, fun looking. I never used them. Shanks and Buggy. Damn, we had a lot of good switch units. This. Uh, well, I, I looked at this Robin and Koala and this Black Maria and Ulti. I'm like, well, we had good switch units until these guys came out. I mean, they're decent. They're not bad. Nami and Carrot are amazing. Law and Kid are phenomenal. Kizu Why do they put this guy here? I have never seen anybody use this guy. They're the most mid unit in the game. I'd probably say this might be the worst release. That might actually be the worst release that they've ever dropped. And they got Nami and Karina. So this is probably going to be between Long Kid and Nami and Karina. This unit right here in Rumble is so unfair. I don't understand why they, they made this unit's kit like that. Where they make the delay. They delay four enemies. And on a side team where you can have Sanji give you more special CT. They can launch again right afterwards. And you can die. Now thankfully I haven't ran into them in Grand Party. That's good for me. But uh, I run this team. And now that I recently found out that in Grand Party, after you're done with your games, you can switch your Grand Party lead. And then you can make it easier for other people to destroy you. Because, you know, we we see the Gear 5 special and we're like, damn, I'm going to go after the guy who has, uh, what's it called? Chopper. as his friend captain. Or as his Grand Party leader. Alright. But this unit is very unfair. Long and Kid are really good. Uh, as far as the other options go i mean they're good but like they got replaced by gear 5 really fast so i'd probably have to go with kizaru and fujitor i'm never picking these men in my i'm picking i mean karina eustace and kid are probably better overall but the things nami and karina can do are just stupid i don't understand them and now that I'm back to this part, I wanted to talk about something. Nami got two different switch units. These are two treasure map units, right? Back to back, right? I think so. There might have been a rare crew in between. But bro, Nami got two legends? That's so unfair, man. So unfair for my other characters, man. I mean, Kobe did get one recently, but like, come on, dog. Come on. Alright, what is this? Best Super Sugo any legend. I'm going with this guy or gear 5. There's literally no other options. If you don't pick the either of those two. I mean, th these guys have aged a little bit. But it's the versatility that I love about this unit. It's probably my favorite unit in the game, actually. So I mean, I shouldn't pick them because, you know, bias. But... Like, as far as all the other options, this Sanji's also, like, super sleeper unit. He's amazing still. SDR Kaido or Luffy. See, the thing about these two is like they're kind of limited on options as far as team building goes. This Shanks is uh, not limited, so he's also pretty good. But I'm trying to think right now. 
would I pick any of these other units? Like me personally, if I'm if I'm building a team, would I pick any other unit? And as far as I can see, probably no, but this Sanji. This Sanji This Big Mom is also like is this is li she's limited to certain teams. This Shanks as well. It's just it's the compatibility of these units that I think I like a lot. And that's why I'm picking them. Honoring the game's most formidable super evolution. Okay, so Roger, he just got like a little bit better. Uh, what? Who is this guy? Uh, Chopper. <laughs> Six plus Uta. Final tap Luffy. Why did they put this guy on here? This is literally the best guy. The best six plus. Or super evolution? Yeah, super evolution. Uh, this is a funny unit. You know, they're okay. They're, they're eh. Actually, I was going to say they're okay, but they're not. Uh, gear 5, 6 plus, I wouldn't say, it, it's the upgrade, right? It got rid of my favorite mechanic from gear 5. And I do have two gear 5s, so I can use the other one as well. What I do when Pyro Rumble from my side team, and then I use that unit whenever I want to use the effect. It's really nice. But as far as overall 6 pluses go, yeah, none of these units are ever going to be Cat and Dog. Uh, recognize the erosion that was the more more of a down what a downgrade none of these are downgrades I mean it seems like a kind of a loaded question you know I feel like this is gonna make people pick gear 5 but it's just because gear 5 it changes into a different unit essentially but more of a downgrade none of these units are a downgrade do I have to fill this out the required question none of these are downgrades all of these are upgrades in some way. Even if the units are dookie, they still got an upgrade. You know, it got a little bit better. And, uh, you know, this is the most sleeper super evolution. This guy used to be dookie dookie. And everyone's like, man, if you pull that guy, you got a Brian Galindo yourself. And if you know what Brian Galindoing is, you must not be around the channel. Um, all right, moving on. Uh, more of a downgrade. Let's just pick Gold to Sorrow. Okay, no. None of these are downgrades, man. Let's just pick this Kaido because, nah, I never use them. The game mode allows us to experience the trust and spirit of adventure. We're captivated for hours. Alright, so Grand Party's here. Okay, I hope nobody picks this. Everybody do not pick this one. We need to hate on Grand Party. Maximize hatred towards Grand Party. Okay, no. Okay, so it's basically telling me my four favorite game modes. Pirate Rumble is pretty fun. PKA, eh, it, it's just time consuming really, it's not really enjoyable in my eyes, which is why I don't really make videos on it. Treasure map, as much as I like this treasure map, I actually really enjoy the game mode, especially what they're updating now. Uh, Arena, that's my favorite one, I know that's for sure. Blitz battle, no. Monthly Turtle Island. Uh, that's never coming back. I don't like any of these other game modes. Izuna's fun. Okay, I'll take a pick Izuna. Okay, so this is the illustration artistry of this legend. Mmm, yes, fine connoisseuring. Mmm, yes. This art goes hard. Jinbei, that art goes hard too, but I'm not picking Jinbei yet. Fraudbeard, I love his artwork. My dude is... <laughs> he, he ain't it, okay? This Luffy, I love this Luffy. Look at that. Yeah, ha ha ha. Look, he laughing. He he he. Okay, no stop. This art also goes pretty hard. Uh, these other arts is very colorful. Okay, very colorful. I like this Odin in Tokyo a lot too. Uh, that's definitely not because Odin is one of my favorite characters. No, 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 no. Completely unrelated. This Albert one goes pretty hard too, but I don't really like Albert that much. Uh. Oh, Matsu, this goes pretty hard. Okay, no, no. Picking gear 5 for obvious reasons. Simon was okay, you know, you know. The Dex Big Mom with Misery next to her is pretty good. Same thing with STR Kaido. Uh, Sai Uta. No, no, no. This art goes hard. This art goes hard work. Momo no scare! Okay, though, that's it. That's it for now. I'd like some of the S. But not the SSR. What the hell? There's no SSR. The 5 star arts. I'm surprised they didn't put the five star arts up there. Is there some? Like, I like some of the five stars more than the six stars. This update was innovative and brought us so much excitement. 
cola story. I mean, they gave a reason to have cola, I guess, but you know, it kind of added like a cap. All Grand Voyage Islands unlocked. I don't play Grand Voyage for certain reasons. Um, display Super Sugo unit special animation. No. Ship upgrade rate to 100. I did like this. This is nice. I had like a couple ships that weren't done yet. But this is nice. Okay, this is lo underrated change. Underrated change. Actually, I might just go with the shipyard update. Loves display their value. That's one of the best ones right there. Auto power up. This is the best feature. No questions about it. No. I don't want to hear nothing. All right. That's the best feature. Sell it to 40 characters. I never seen that. I thought you could only sell 20. They, my box be lying to me. It said you can only sell 20 units. It's telling me right here you can sell 40. Oh, hell no. It's not fair. Special spots on TM. Oh, someone's calling me a spam risk. Okay, whatever. TM revamp again. Yes, the card system. I like it. Um, they need to boost some of the percentages up, but it's, it's, it's good. It's a good direction. Additional pirate lines features. Resistant. Okay, no. I didn't know this was a filter. You can filter by potential ability. I probably should have looked at that. But the collection feature is also another good one. Max up to five. Okay. I'm picking the collection feature because it's just free rainbow gems. So we'll go down history's One Piece's greatest moments. Uh, definitely not version 12.3. The grand maintenance. Is this the big mom maintenance? I thought that was last year. No, never mind. Uh, introduction of addition. No, it was. It was this year. Okay. Because they have Jinbei and that's when it happened, I think. Brand maintenance. I mean, yeah, they had to issue the, the, the guys. We cannot release the game. A New Year's Sugo Fest? Dude, that Sugo Fest was so good to me. This max of five out nomination. This is greatest One Piece. Treasure Cruise moments, man. You can't have that. April Fool's Day. I love this event. Infinite Kizuna ticket bug. I didn't do that. Okay. Uh, let's just do New Year's Sugo because it was great. The ninth anniversary. I'd be. I'd, I'd argue that the the Gear Five anniversary was better than this. Uh, auto power releasing. Okay. How's this the greatest OPTC moments? This is bad. This should be on the on the the worst OPTC moments this year. Like the top five worst moments, man. Come on. Ninth and nineteenth sing. Hold on. Ninth and nineteenth singles on the Sanji banner. I did not summon on the Sanji banner. I would not know. Alternating pen was considered a unit. I think that's the one that lets you have different artworks. Dual unit super evolution. That's what that has to be one of the best ones because before we didn't have that. It was very good gear five release. That's obvious. That's probably going to be one of the top ones. ECG collab. I don't remember the actual things that happened in these updates, but uh, I think version 13.1 added the pain mechanic. And I think that's the stupidest mechanic in the game. This should not be a mechanic. So I'm not picking that. Uh, four ships. I don't use any of those ships, so no. Oh snap, here goes. The 2023 King of the Crew is being awarded to the creator that took the community by storm this year. Everyone listed here is for the community. It's incredible content in the game we love. Okay, so we got Toadski, Stump D Gacha, Chao Zeus, Captain, Captain Musashi. I gotta pick Captain Musashi. Okay. Uh, we got the homie Oma Wabaka. Oh man, look at him. Okay, we got a lot of options. That's Captain Poppy. That's the guy who makes the list. This is actually a live picture of him. He is a turtle. Uh, free up store. Ah, I gotta delete some stuff. All right, Bebo, Nitro Sausage. Okay. Well, how many options I got? Max of four nominations. Okay, I feel like it's a given to pick Totski because he's kind of the biggest one. But I'm gonna go with some of my more underrated people. I'm just gonna vote for Captain Musashi because he is the goat. That is it. That is my final statement. Recognizing the biggest blunder. Okay, so this is just telling you the biggest fraud of this year. If you do not pick Whitebeard, I will personally come to your house. All right, so after that small excursion, now we're recognizing the most exceptional unit this year. Hmm, yes. Uh, I'm just going to count these units as last year because I feel like they are more last year than they are this year. But I guess it's counting off like the end of the ninth, uh, eighth anniversary up until this point. Most exceptional unit. I'm going to go with an underrated character because I feel like the gear 5 option is too obvious. Like that unit just broke grand party and it's stupid. Like if you literally just shatter like a freaking part of the game. I don't think it's fair. The unit itself is really good in uh, PvE as well. Very exceptional, very exceptional. Most exceptional unit. Okay, let's go down to the top of the list. Page 1. Hell no. Jinbei. I wish he was better. 
STR Boa. No. These are the New Year's units. I'm not picking them. Broadbeard. Hell no. Rare Alien Gabon. They're good. They're all right. They're pretty standard legend. I like that. Apero Sparrow. No. Ace. Eh. Luffy. Something about this ace, right? People say, oh, he's going to replace uh, Sayamato. We don't even use Sayamato anymore. And this ace is not replacing Yamato in PvP either, so... I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. These people... Oh, this ace. Oh, this Nami. They're so good. They're not. Okay. <laughs> they're alright. They're good. They're solid. But I would not use them. Me personally, no. Uh, in killer. He's pretty alright. Hawkins. Mm, no. Apu. He's good in PvP. I don't know about anything else, but he's good in PvP. Sai Bonnie, never used her. Never planned on it. Ain't Jack. He's like the dog, right? Okay, no. STR Dex Luffy and Yamato. I'm gonna hurry up. Odin and Toki. I love this artwork. Uh, Stek Sanji and Queens. So, oh man, all these units. This Nami and Carrot are really good. Very sleeper legend. They, they, they have so much utility, I don't understand why. It's, it's kind of the same thing with the Nami and Karina, but they have different utilities, both these units. So they actually can coexist pretty well. Uh, Year 5, I feel, I feel like it's just an obvious choice. Just pick Year 5 here. Yeah, you just pick Year 5 here. The units are great, but I don't think anything's beating that guy. Your response has been recorded, thank you for the reason of these Alright. So... And the story in Kaido, the review is coming out eventually. Okay, no, no, no. Uh, this was fun. I like this. Okay, I've done this last year just off camera. And there was other YouTubers next to the homie Captain Musashi. But he is the homie. He is the guy you want to vote for. Now, obviously, I feel like Toski or Captain Poppy. Oh, one of these other YouTubers is going to win. But I'm rooting for my boy, Captain Musashi. He's the guy, man. He's out here playing Black Clover M and on Peace Treasure Cruise. And he's making infographics still. And he's still cooking in the kitchen. He's working 12 jobs. He's lifting his kids. Wait, he's lifting his kids. Actually, I don't know any of that like personal stuff. But <laughs> That's it. Shadow Wizard Money Gang. We love casting spells. Evil. Also happy for whatever reason. Uh, of your life I want to send a message real quick I almost lost my, my, my life I didn't feel like I lost my life on that day I was very calm but live like your life is the last day because it can really uh, end up very quickly <laughs> so see you guys on my next video, let me know in the comments which thing you want prefer first. Let me know if you prefer Garp Challenge, if you prefer me to do any Colosseum Guide, any arena.